and welcome everyone here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for our next uh, Allegiance deck. That's what we're doing today. We have like an Allegiance um, themed day where we're playing all uh, six regions except for one. So I guess it's not all six. But anyway, we're not doing the uh, Demacia region. We're just going to be doing the other ones because, uh, you know, Demacia's Vanguard Bannerman. We play that all the time. But we're, we're uh, going through the other ones. We just did the P Piltover and Zaun uh, card. That one was pretty sweet. But now we're going to be going with Freljord with Averrozen Outriders. First time actually playing Averrozen Outriders, but it's it's pretty nice. You know, 3-3 Overwhelm and then also grant the top unit of your deck plus 3, plus 3 and Overwhelm. You can make a huge, huge creature with that. So we're going, since we're, since we're doing basically all Freljord, I'm only splashing one card, we're going with Braum and Ash, uh, kind of going with like just like all the Ash Frostbite stuff, um, but then Braum's just kind of in here to, you know, be Braum-y, I guess. I don't, I'm not really supporting Braum that much. I have one Take Heart, so I'm not really supporting Braum too much, but we have a lot of ways to make Braum bigger with like Omen Hawk, um, the, Al the Averrozen Outriders, and the Averrozen Hearth Guard, anyway. Um, but the, the one card that I'm splashing for, cause I figured like with this deck, I was like, well, we're going to be okay against, uh, aggro decks. And I have one avalanche in here also, uh, in case we need it. Uh, but you know, we got all the frostbite stuff with Ash, but we don't really have the card advantage. So we're going to splash Trifarian Assessor since we can make some larger creatures with the help of Outriders, Omen Hawk and Hearthguard. Um, so that's the one card that we're splashing to get the card advantage in. All right, but let's try some Outriders midrange. Should be pretty fun. And then next up we'll have uh, Shadow Isles. You know, we'll play the Shadow Anivia deck. We've played it before, um, but you know, it's a Mist Wraith deck. It's just splashing Anivia for um, Wraith Caller. All right, more Ezreal and So Braum doesn't actually do anything, but it's just kind of annoying to deal with, but they're probably just gonna bounce it with Will of Ionia later. I'll, I think I'll keep it. This is, you know, debating on getting rid of the Braum. I liked the other three cards. Braum will basically make our other attackers better by clearing out blockers. In. Ooh. That could be nice. A true Felyorian welcome. Ooh, that is not nice, though. That is not a card we need to draw. We go where the war mother be. Good. It's a good card to draw. I'm glad it wasn't just the, the top unit that got the plus three, plus three. Our hand's been pretty good. Ezreal's already almost leveled up. That's a nice one to have. They cannot hide. For the plus three, plus three overwhelm. <laughs> All 
Alright, seven mana. Um... Few earn the right to call themselves Trifarian. True power requires restraint. Dang. Dang. Man, what a hand. Maybe I should have brittle steeled that. I probably should have brittle steeled that. Save two toughness. Probably should have. I will play my part. Is it the mustache? Who knows? So of course we're gonna be just going straight to what combat. This next turn. annoying. Like right now, Trifarian Assessor doesn't even draw a card anymore. Um, I can... I would be able to take heart the Challenger to make it so it's one. I kind of want to take heart the Braum. Ugh. And they're gonna have start doubling up their spells with karma. This is not good. Good. They don't know what they're up Man, Their hand is awesome. I thought you'd never ask. The ideal hand. Ugh. I can't even brittle steal that thing because it's a two four. Come on. Doesn't help. Many past lives. Okay. Yep. Dang. They had a very, very good quality hand. Well, you know, obviously not like hand is in like just their first four cards, just they kind of curved out with exactly what you wanted every turn. 
of the game, like all 10 turns. Never had a bad turn. And that's why they won. Harsh winds can definitely be good. We'll see, but you know, like I just don't really want it in my opener. We'll see if we regret putting it back. Fresh catch. Well, it was fresh. <clears throat> I don't know what's out there. Oh, I like Freljord as a region, though. Freljord's cool. It's not bad. It's above average. Yeah, Sawani looks awesome. How can Brom end? Oh yeah, just two of these things? Yeah, not not a bad hand. Help is on the way. Just attacking for 14, 13. Attacking for 13 on uh, on turn 3. After attacking, you know, after having a, a creature die before that. It's not bad. Ash, tell me a story. Let me tell you about Avarosa. Stop death following for peace. First we fight, show me your best. Do you like how Brom Brom kind of protects Ash with the attack? Like that's pretty cool. Obviously, if they have another ephemeral thing, I'm pretty dead. I'm pretty dead. Especially with that being burst, sp burst speed. can keep Ash or Brom alive and go to one, but I can't keep them both alive, but I can keep one alive. And I think it's more important to keep Brom alive than Ash. With Brom being able to uh, make some mighty poros for us. Yeah, exactly. Like we we need to. Uh, that's that's what I was kind of thinking. The Brom Brom leveling up can can uh, help us go wide, which is what we need to do against sharks. Everybody knows that you got to go wide against sharks. Like that's just something they teach you. Oh come on, another Mark of the Isles. Man, what a hand. <laughs> yeah, just have it all. I mean, I, like, I, I could have played that differently. I could have not played the Ash on turn four. That that obviously didn't end up working out. If I just, I could have played like double Omen Hawk on turn four instead of playing one Ash and then and then two Omen Hawks. Um, I have an extra blocker. You know, we could have maybe stayed alive like that. It's the thing that I guess I need I needed to do. Man, 
That was incredible. I mean, Ash, Ash is just a good attacker and everything. It's a 5-3. I kept, I kept like, the Ash to keep alive with Elixir. I, I kept that combo. Because, um, you know, like, I'm going to want to try to kill them kind of quickly in 4 mana, 5, five power. If I mulligan Ash, I'd probably mulligan Elixir, but I, could make, I guess maybe not. Elixir just saves anything. I have a lot of cards in this kind of matchup that aren't very good. And Ash isn't one that Ash is good. But like, you know, like Braum doesn't really do a lot for me. And then all of the Frostbite cards, you know, Brittle Steel, Harsh Winds, uh, the Avalanche. So like, I don't want to mulligan, like I, like we have a card that's that's very, very playable. Pretty good, so I don't, don't really want to mulligan everything. And this looks like it could work out for me with Ash. You know, if we get to attack, you know, if we get to do the whole Ash, uh, Frost bites the Solitary Monk, the Rhyming Wolf eats it. Could work out. But they'll have a lot of mana to respond and break that combo up. But we're going to try to unite the Freljords. All right, got one get excited out of here. Because we can't see yet what they discarded. I know it flashes on screen for a split second, but not too fast to see when they were doing that stuff. All right, they got rid of it. Deny. Oh, silence. Nice. All right, well, that worked out pretty well. Still worked out pretty well. Unify the tribes. Check out the goods on this one. I think we play the the Bjerg. Yeah, we'll play the Bjerg. I, I don't know what three decks are best for a tournament right now. I don't know. These are like the most popular decks. All right, got rid of another get excited. So that was a two for two trade because we traded Brittle Steel and the Wolf. Get excited and Spirit's Refuge. Than my arrows? I think not. 
I think not. So we're at two out of five. Attacking will be three. If we want to play the archer pre-combat, that's four. But you know, like they're at low resources. And so I'm trying to keep as much pressure on as possible. Control is really good. I I still I think I do think Heimerdinger is underrated in this meta game. You know, everybody focuses on Karma Ash. I think people underrate Heimerdinger still. The control champions are also good. Like all three of those cards: Karma, Ezreal, Heimerdinger. There's a, a very strong argument that those are the three best champions. Oh, Punisher's taking their time. Come on, opponent. Ah, the sweet smell of science. Heimerdinger would be great with Shadow Isles with, you know, Withering Whale, Vile Feast, Brood Awakening, all that kind of stuff. Like all the anti aggro stuff in Shadow Isles. And then pair it with Heimerdinger, Progress Day. You know, basically Karina Control, but instead of Karina, playing some Heimerdinger. Worth playing Crystal Arrow. It's not if they have a, a bounce spell. All right, there we go. Got a win on the board. Ash is really cool. I like I like Frelio card and Ash. Like they're not not the best, but they're cool. I like them. <clears throat> All right, Brom Vlad versus Brom Ash. The Brom Mirror. Uh, let's ditch. I don't know. Um, I, mean, I could just see getting rid of all this stuff. 
I could see keep, and I could also see just keeping all of it. Uh, this will presumably be a little bit of a slower game, where Assessor can do some work. We'll get rid of Assessor for now, and I don't know what to think about Elixir of Iron, honestly. Just keep it. Ugh. I wish I would mulliganed it. Why am I even playing that? That was dumb. At the ready. I should have passed. I should not have played that card. I just kind of instinctively played that. But I think it's more valuable to get the Frostbite trigger for Ash. I should have just passed. That wasn't... That wasn't a good play. They're out there. I'll spot them. How can Brom help? I don't know. Um, as far as like like what I'd recommend for for climbing, uh, my two two decks that I recommend the most are probably like the Kinku Elusives that we played earlier. Um, you know, just kind of generic Kinku Elusives, and uh, like this is like the metagame list there if if you want to check out different decks and stuff from Mobile Addicts. Um, but I also really like uh, Burn Aggro. This uh, my version of Burn Aggro, <clears throat> and somebody else told me they used it to climb up to, to Masters, also. But it's it's really tuned for the um, for the control matchups. Stand behind Brom. You are safe with Brom. I don't know if I'm supposed to even be attacking with the sentry because attacking with the sentry allows them to block with the curator to give them another crimson unit or they just block with the braum probably like just shouldn't even be attacking with that thing To understand, I matter. We're tall as a mountain and covered in ice. Let's go up. Good luck. Have fun. It's pretty rough. I'm never going to be able to deal with this Braum, am I? You don't think that Ash is worth two Elixir of Irons? That can't be correct. The problem is, is how do we deal with the Braum just in general? I don't know if my deck can. Yeah, I mean, I guess it's it's harsh winds. Rhyming wolf. I mean, I need like maybe if like that Ash would have stayed alive there, and then we would top deck Rhyming wolf. Maybe, but. I 
think this is over. Many tribes under one banner. Looks pretty over to me. <clears throat> Can be a pretty powerful combination there. Um, I think I need to mulligan more. I think I didn't mulligan enough. That's what I'm thinking. A Don David and Drowhunet. Brand new subs. Thank you so much, Kitty Dexterity, for gifting out two subs. Thank you very much. It gets us towards our sub goal of the day. We're at two out of five now. Uh, I, I like I like the Alex account a lot a lot more. Oh Zufar, you were. I didn't I didn't write you down. You were. Thank you. Good call, Zufar. We had so now we're at three out of seven. Three out of five. Yeah, Alex, change your change name to make me proud, son. Like that's that's not a. They're out there. I'll spot them. That's. Safeguard our homes. No. Hey, Rockburn. Yeah, it's a. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're a kid back then. Yeah, no. You should stay with the other account. The Alex one is, is better. Yeah, nothing. Like, nothing wrong with Alexa. Also. The Yordle here with me. We can assume they have twin disciplines because they're not scared of Brittle Steel, Run Fang Wolf. So we can definitely assume twin discipline. So I'd be trading Brittle Steel and Rhyme Fang Wolf for twin disciplines, but I think that's just something we have to do. It does kind of make me wish I would have played the 3 2 instead of the 4 3. But it's not. Oh, it's Brothers Bond. Okay. Well, never mind. Playing the 4 3 was perfect. Oh yeah, y'all are saying I should have blocked with Sentry. Well, good thing we didn't block with Sentry. Brothers Bond. I was thinking, so basically what I was thinking was, but like the thing is, is this is not an Elixir of Iron deck, but I'm kind of used to Elixir of Iron, but that's just kind of like in my mind, I was kind of thinking that uh, I didn't want to block with the Sentry because of Elixir of Iron. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot, I didn't pull it. I was talking and I just didn't pull it because I was talking and didn't do that. All right, well, gotta draw a frostbite. Thank you. Let's go. Forgot to do that.
Yeah, that was a close one. Hey, Krabby. That's my resting face. Rockborn, getting that Twitch Prime sub in here. That gets us to sub number four of the day. All right, well, they still got me because I messed up. Thank you, Rockborn. All right, well, I didn't play this deck too well. But it wasn't as powerful as what other people were doing. Did feel like the like the Braum was out of place, and uh, I think I think I I want like like I don't think we had enough frostbite. I think that I think that if we take out like the Braum and the Take Heart, like if we just didn't play those cards, then we could play maybe an Entreat or two and some Flash Freeze. I feel like that could have done done a little bit more for us probably makes me worse against control makes me a little bit more all in on the ash um see that's the thing about avalanche like avalanche could be good at, at some point like against that matchup avalanche would have been amazing but then the time we drew avalanche was like against control where we didn't want to play it at all so it's it's tough i think that i think that like <clears throat> we should be okay against the like those aggro decks with all like these frostbite cards if um if i play better and if you know maybe we go more in on like the flash freeze like like that should be good against against uh those but then will we have enough against control and probably like you know like it's not like braum or take heart were that amazing against control anyway um So maybe something like that. Um, but yeah, I don't I don't know exactly what to do with Avaros and Outriders. Uh, I guess you know, like this is my best uh, guess. And in that very small sample of five games, it didn't really work out for us. You do want to play like a longer game for Hearthguard, Riders, um, Omen Hawk. Like you know, you want you want a you want a longer game. Yeah, that's what I was thinking about maybe putting two two entreats in there to draw the ashes. And then getting some more flash freeze in there. So we can have stuff against the bigger creature. Like some more things against bigger creatures than just the harsh winds. Because yeah, it did seem like the Braum, the Braum take card didn't really work. Um, I think that's what I would do. Is I would take those four cards out, put in two flash freeze, two entreats to draw Ash more often. Ash is the kind of card that it's okay to have two of them. Like, if you have one Ash in play, you draw the next one, it's a Flash Freeze, and that's that's just fine. Um, Entreating for Flash Freeze is just fine. Because there's a lot of times when Ash is in play that Flash Freeze is a really good card to have. Um, but there we go. All right. Uh, those of y'all watching on YouTube, uh, hit that like button over there. And, of course, feel free to leave a comment and and uh, let me know if you're doing anything cool with Averroes and Outriders. You know, feel free to leave a deck list uh, if you're doing something special with this card. All right, but that's it here for Outriders Midrange. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.